Rupertis. He will get the first down and more, and he's still on his feet across the 25, down at the 20 yard line, tackled by Gavin Hope, but a big gain in the first down for Audubon. And again. Here comes Rupertis, he finds a hole, and he is gonna get a first down out to the 30, maybe the 29 yard line. Can also get those extra yards after contact. Third down and four. Rupertus met at the line, escapes, gets a first down. He's got a shot to score, and he is going to score. He border. Township trails at 6 0. This is going to be a reverse coming near side of the field. They've got some blockers in front, too. This is Donlin. Donlin going to be pushed out of bounds at about the 31 yard line. Kasabun wants to pass. And it is possibly intercepted. No call yet. They're saying no. It was down on the ground. Possibly there. Donovan Harrow had it, but it hit the ground yeah. incomplete. And, and the ref saw it the whole way. I think I, I saw it hit the ground, too. It was kind of, we, we had a real good angle here, but a good call. Chico, the lone setback. Pitch it near side. Nice pitch there to get that is DeHaven. DeHaven's going to get to the 20, what I believe is enough for a first down. Donlin deep is the back. They pitch it to him. Has blockers in front. Tries to get by one. Can't get by two as he's tackling a play by Jordan. A soft third and goal. Here comes Donlin. Now they'll pass it. It is complete. And getting in, I believe. No, yes, getting into the end zone is Ethan Eif. He started in his fullback position. He's a sophomore, so Eif gets in, and we are tied at six. The key to that play was Eif going out initially, looking like a blocker. And you're thinking if you're Audubon, they're bringing somebody out. They had trouble in the last play to the outside. Looking like a blocker. Peels off, goes out to the flat. Rupertus. Gets the edge. Rupertus is going to get a first down at the 30-yard line, still pushing to about the 28, where he's tackled on the play by Jack DeHaven. Near side of the field, gaining an edge, and a lot of room with this one is Chapman. Chapman's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10. Pitches Rupertus to his left. Rupertus is in for the touchdown. No flags on the play, and Audubon takes the lead back. Second touchdown of the game for Rupertus. Well, you need yards. You need a big play on offense. I don't think there's any question that you want to give it to Luca Rupertus, and they're going to go for two here. So quickly, Audubon says we will go for two. Rupertus, far side, cuts it ahead. He's going to get the first down. Tackled on the play by Donlin. Martin's doing the chicken wing there. I like that. Rupertus finds a hole and finds the end zone. Rupertus in for his third touchdown this time. Man in motion. Pitch it to the man in motion. Good job here to get a first down. That was Levy, his first uh, carry of the game. We better watch. Kasaboon from the shotgun. He wants to throw. Scrambling to his left. Now he's going to keep it. Nice open field tackle there. And that was Aaron Chapman who made a big play to his crowd. Seiko, the lone setback. Kasaboon straight back. Gets a pass off, and it is caught on the play for a first down. Sean Donlin in double coverage came up with the catch. Pass receptions today are tough to come by, and what a play, what a catch by Sean Donlin, not only making the catch, but making it in traffic. Send a man in motion. Statue of Liberty play on a handoff. Here comes Sika around the left end. Open field tackle, but it looks like enough for a first down as Connor Emmendorf makes the tackle. Seconds and counting. Casabone from the shotgun. Straight back. Gets a pass off going to the end zone. And this is intercepted. Intercepted inside the five-yard line on a nice play there. And I believe, Kevin, that is Donovan Harrow on the interception. Rupertus to the right. Rupertus for a first down. He's got a shot here, and he has a chance, and he will go. 
Rapertus from 60 yards out, and Audubon increases the lead. Almost in their careers. So now this pitch is to the near side. Seco and Seco is going to lose three or four. He's been able to do this year. Third and nine. Casa Boone wants to pass. Gets it off near side, and that one is picked off. A chance to go down the sideline with it is Harrow. Harrow cuts inside, gets a block or two. Harrow back to his left, and he's going to return it to the 15-yard line on the interception by the senior, Donovan Harrow. Going to pass it, and it is caught for the touchdown, and able to hold on to it there was Jacob Jordan, a sophomore. It'd really be terrible if there's no sun out. There's DeHaven. DeHaven, a gain of about nine in there on the tackle was... Pass play intercepted, taken away by Bickert. And Bickert goes down at the 21, and a flag flies in late. Third and goal from the four. Conlin, and he is going to get in the end zone for the touchdown, and there's some extra talking again going at it. And I think they're really... Cossabone wants to throw, he's going deep. This ball's up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Caught right off the back of the defender. Now it's fumbled. I think he was down. Let's see. Intercepted by Gregory. To do it. So Audubon is going to win this Thanksgiving rivalry game by a score of 32 to 14. That is going to do it on the coldest day of Thanksgiving in the modern era. For Kevin Schulz, Eric Schulz, Emily Kozneski, I'm Tack Kozneski. We'll talk.